and this person wins the Compton Miller medal named after two greats Dennis Compton from England and Keith Miller from Australia two great all-round cricketers it really came down to two people one a keeper vice captain back in the Australian side for not all that long 493 runs 407 in the first innings of this series 21 matches and the other guy a tear away quick with a big moustache 37 wickets at 14 two judges were the two chairmen of selectors so blame them if you don't if you disagree but the man of the match sorry the man of the series is Mitchell Johnson Mitch, congratulations. How special is that? Not just that trophy there, but the Compton Miller medal. You get to keep that forever, mate. How big is that? Yeah, that's something I'm going to cherish for the rest of my life and uh, something I'll be able to look back and have those memories of, of this series uh, for that. So, yeah, it's very special. Mate, you talked about when I've interviewed before the start of this match, and you talked about this being a happy team, even though they'd lost 3 0 right back before the Gabba. I bet you they're very happy right now. Yeah, very, very happy. Um, like Ryan, I say, we, we didn't expect to, to come here and, and to be up here at 5 0. But, um, you know, like I said, we'll, after after England, the guys, uh, when I came into the squad, they were very happy with how they're performing and, and looked like we were on track. So uh, we proved that out here. Um, obviously, I'd just like to thank all the fans and the support, uh, the families of the guys, um, my wife Jessica, for all their support, as well as throughout the good times and the bad times. So thank you. Mate, there's been a few bad times, hasn't there? But this, this must make up for it. I noticed you were, you were mining the Barmy Army down there and the Doug Walter stand just about the scoreline. It must be nice to have a bit of a joke with them because I'm sure they've now become big fans of you. Yeah, I mean, that's just part of the game, isn't it? They're uh, trying to take me off my game. and um, <laughs> Yeah, it worked a while ago, but, um, yeah, these days uh, I just yeah just water off the duck's back. But um, I'm sure I'm going to be copying it more if I get the opportunity to play another Ashes series over there. So... You know, they've been supportive of England throughout this whole entire series and uh, they, ne they never gave up, um, as the England team as well, they never gave up throughout the whole series. Like, like Ryan Harris, 37 wickets at 14 in the series. So you've had a fantastic series. Where do you think you bowled your best? Which test match did you think Mitchell Johnson was at his very best? Um, oh, all of them. Nah, look, I think the way we started the series was, was probably just uh, where it all really went well for us. Um, you know, we were really aggressive and, and that was our plan at the start of the series was to go hard at them, especially their tail, and um, it came off for us. And like I've been saying throughout this whole series, we bowled really well as a unit um, and really enjoyed each other's company. And, um, you know, there's a lot of experience there now, so uh, it was just a really enjoyable series for us. Now, what about Brad? Have a quick word on him because I reckon you've just picked him for this man of the series. What about the vice captain? How well has he played throughout the summer? Yeah. Can you, can you call him the old man? Yeah, he's an old, the old man. man yeah. of the team? Yeah, he's definitely an old man of the team. And to, to where he's come from as well, you know, like to come back into this team and, and to do what he's done throughout the series, you know, he, he deserves to be up here as well. So, um, like I said, we're just really proud of, of what we've done here and to finish it off on a, on a great day of Jane McGrath Day, um, you know, is really special. Well, Mitchell Johnson, you've been superb. Five test matches, consistent, fast, lethal at times. Deserved winner of the Commonwealth Bank Player of the Series. Ladies and gentlemen, Mitchell Johnson.